Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So today is going to be a treat for you, <laughs> I hope, since I am sharing one of my cases that I ran just recently. And this is a brand new website, no link building whatsoever, no age domains. If we go to the WordPress, now we'll be blurring out the domain, obviously. There is 116 posts published. The first batch was published around the 30th of June, which is roughly the half of the articles, and the second half was published around the 3rd of July. So, it's three days in between. And if we go to the search console, we started ranking on the 4th of July, so like 24 hours since the last batch was published. And we have already gotten an excess of 800 impressions, 15 clicks. And again, this is a brand new site, a very niche down website. And the way I did it was with programmatic SEO. And to my knowledge, and I am no SEO guru, programmatic SEO is an umbrella term, and people may and will mean different things. The two common definitions of source that come up are anything regarding SEO that uses AI automation. So if you are doing bulk production content at scale, you are technically doing programmatic SEO. But I like the other definition, which I think is more accurate, is when you dial in on a keyword and use variations. So you basically dominate this small niche, a specific keyword, by doing very simple things. First thing, you are going like product plus feature, and this is what we'll be doing, and what, this is what I have done. Or you can do something that local SEO have been doing for ages, combining services with locations. So this will be mode removal plus city one, plus city two, plus city three, or zip code, or state, or whatever. And this technically also falls under the programmatic SEO umbrella. So, I will not be revealing my niche, obviously, but I will show you an example of how I would do it if I were to do it from scratch. So, let's go to Ahrefs, and again, you don't have to use Ahrefs. And the way this works is by basically asking a question about a popular product. So, let's go to um, Keyword Explorer and go does click funnel, click funnels, which is a very popular product. And you can see that there are a lot of questions. And what I like is this one. Does ClickFunnels have email marketing? And of, yes, the volume is not very high, but the CPC is enormous. And you can bet your dollar that if this is being asked for ClickFunnels, this is also a keyword that is being asked for other Click funnels alternatives. So what you can do is go to ChatGPT. We can use the default model here. Uh, the first prompt will be list top 20 click funnels alternatives. So okay, this is a list of click funnels alternatives, lead pages and bounds, build row, cartra. Now what we can do is run a simple command, convert the buff to does name have an unresponder. And this way we are getting a list of questions that reflect the question about the click funnels have an autoresponder. And if you were to put it back into Ahrefs, you would get zero volumes. But uh, fear not, I got zero volumes as well when I did my tests. But as you can see, the performance speaks for itself. And uh, again, the logic is very simple. If people are asking this about ClickFunnels, they will be asking the same question about other popular products. So another way you can approach this is just by going to Google and using autocomplete. So if we were to use another popular product, which is MailChimp, which is go does MailChimp, and we can see go to spam. So obviously this is highlighted because I've searched for it already. But does MailChimp go to spam? Let's check it out. Okay, so people are asking about that. 
So again, we can go back to ChatGPT, ask it to list top 20 MailChimp alternatives. Okay, and we we have send in blue get response constant contact a Weber, and we can use a similar formula. Does name go to spam and you end up with 20 more keywords and you can do this for ages so the sky is the limit you just need to find a very popular product let's go back to a traps um, mailchimp spam does mailchimp have animation templates so these can be asked for other products as well does MailChimp have an email capture feature? And yeah. So what I did next, I just went to perplexity. I made sure I answered the question correctly. So does MailChimp go to spam? Okay, and this is the answer. And we can go back to ChatGPT and say, write me a, an article around does MailChimp go to spam use the below information paste it here and since this is GPT-4 this is in markdown formatting already mm -hmm. And just to make sure this is building up on what is already provided by Perplexity, and I can see that GPT-4 is already doing its whole thing. And this is a very nicely written article. And if you want to boost the SEO value even further, so okay, looking good, you can say add an FAQ section to the above. And this is a very nice FAQ section. So you repeat this for every one of the 20 keywords that you got. And this, honestly, this doesn't take much. So step one, get the keywords. Step two, go to perplexity and get a response, which is factual. Then go back to ChatGPT and ask it to write an article around this response. Then step three, add, to, add an FAQ section to improve the SEO value. And then you can basically post it. You can find three, four, five keyword variations multiplied by the amount of products available on the market. And you end up like myself with 100 something articles that have started ranking almost immediately. So again, the latest batch was on July 3rd and I got my first clicks and impressions on July 4th. And this has never been advertised anywhere else. No backlinking. I will not be ruining my domain. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.